To find the latest date in a cell range, simply use the max function, equal sign and n, and then the cell reference. And this will return the latest date in this column here. But what if you want to find the latest date for a specific value? To build an array that contains dates for a specific value, use the if function, equal sign if, and then the a logical expression. And I want to use this value here, equal sign, and then compare that to this cell range here. And I need to lock these cells so they don't change as I copy this formula to cells below. However, I want this to change. So this cell reference here, D3, is relative. And now I have a logical expression that allows me to filter dates. So if this logical expression returns true, I want it to return the values in this cell range here. And it is important that this cell range here has the same size as this cell range here. And lock this, this cell reference as well. And if it is not true, return a blank. Double quote, double quote, ending parenthesis. And enter this as an array formula. So hold and hold control and shift keys. And then press enter once. And release all keys. And you can now see that it returns a value. But it doesn't show all the values here. So I'm going to extend this. So you can see all the values. And Excel returns a, a number here. And Excel uses numbers to build dates. So if I format this using this, you will now see that they are the same dates. And you can also see that the, it, the array contains only dates for this value here. So you have AA also down here and down here. And the corresponding date for these values here, dates, are these dates here. And to return the latest date, use the if max function equal sign max parenthesis and the if function ending parenthesis press and hold control shift and press enter once and the latest date here is this date here. And now we can compare this value with this date here. And if it, they are equal, this means that this is the latest date. To do that, use the if function again. Equal sign if and the logical expression is going to be this value here equal sign and then the formula so far and if they are equal to each other return value latest and if they're not equal to each other return a blank and then an ending parenthesis and enter it as an array formula 
and now it returns a a blank here and and this is not the latest date for value AA and now when I copy this to the cell below click on the black dot and hold and then drag it down and this copies the formula to cells below and now you can see that this cell reference here and this cell reference here changed and it tells me that this is the la latest date for value CC and we have value CC down here as well and December is the latest date and now copy it to cells below and it is now really easy to see where the latest date is for each value